this video we will show you how to convert any image into a paint stitch design. The procedure is simple. First, use the open icon to locate any image you like. Find the bitmap image you want to convert to a paint stitch design and open it. A dialog appears showing the selected image and the available conversion options. Use the Open as Paint Stitch option. On the lower part of the dialog, you can also change the resolution of the imported image by editing the width, the height or the DPI values. If any of the imported image dimensions, width or height, is larger than the default backdrop size limit, which is 29.5 cm or 11.6 inches, then the resolution values, width, height and DPI, will be automatically adjusted to match this limit. Change the value and then press the Enter button to apply the chains. The image resolution will change proportionally. For the Open as Paint Stitch option, the maximum width or height that you can set is no more than 29.5 cm or 11.6 inches. Even if you set a higher value, after clicking the OK button, the software will reduce the larger side of the image to 29.5 cm. So, as you can see, the size was automatically adjusted to the maximum supported size for paint stitch. With paint stitch option, you can have photorealistic embroidery results with the use of advanced algorithms which are implemented for this purpose. The conversion is automatic, but you can customize the paint stitch results from the options that you will find in the Properties toolbar when the design is selected. Additionally, the Stitch Flow tool allows you to select the subject area of the image. During the conversion, the software chooses the colors that will be used for the paint stitch design. If you select the subject area, the software will render the subject area more accurately than the image outside the subject area. To do this, click and drag on the design. The overall design will be recalculated based on your stitch flow guide. You can increase or decrease the size of the guide by clicking and dragging the handles of the circle and even delete the guide by clicking on the X that appears at its center. Now, let's have a look at the properties of Paint Stitch. From this drop-down menu, you can select the thread palette that you will use to embroider your Paint Stitch design. Select any palette from this list and it will be immediately applied to the design. Actually, every change you make is immediately applied to the design. Specify the number of colors as the more colors, the more detailed the result. The maximum number of colors that you can set is 99. Adjust the density of the paint stitch design. Higher values will reduce the number of stitches and the detail of the design and vice versa. Set the length of the paint stitch stitches. Higher values produce more artistic and fuzzy results, while lower values produce more detailed results. When the smoothing option is selected, the randomness of the stitches is reduced and the stitches become smoother. Using blending, you can control how much the colors will blend. By default, a medium amount of blending will be applied on the design's colors. If you select none, no blending will be applied between the design's colors. In that case, the edges between different colors and shapes will not overlap. Using low blending, a small amount of blending will be applied on the design's colors leading to minimal overlapping between different colors and shapes. Using high blending, a large amount of blending will be applied between the design's colors, 
thus leading to high overlapping between the different colors and shapes. Finally, using full, the maximum possible amount of blending will be applied between the design's colors. You can further increase or decrease the brightness of the paint stitch image by setting a different value. Values may range from minus 240 up to 240. The paint stitch design is recalculated to show the defined brightness. Likewise, you can increase or decrease the contrast of the image. This can be set from minus 240 up to 240. This function is similar to the contrast option that most photo editing software have. 